Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can create a maintenance page for your DNN website. And how, why would you need a maintenance page? Because you might be doing some maintenance on the website. You might be in the middle of uploading some new content. I, I'm not talking about upgrades. Upgrades is, is, is a really a different beast. So it should be dealt with appropriately, not via a maintenance uh, page. But any other type of maintenance aside of upgrades mm -hmm. that you want to do in your site and you don't see, you don't want people to be accessing the site while you are applying those changes, maybe you want to put a maintenance mode uh, page. So to do that, you're going to be using this little, quite inexpensive module here called maintenance mode. And it's in an early version. I have downloaded this module already and I have installed on my test site. This is a DNN 613. I'm going to log into the back end. I could log in as admin, but I'm just because I'm used to, I'm just going to log in as host. Uh, the module is already installed. So I'm not going to go through that installation is uh, very straightforward, like any other regular DNN module. What you're going to do here is you're going to create one page that will be the page that this module will be set setting on. So we're just going to go to pages, add a new page, and I'm going to call this page. This name could, could be anything. I mean, this is just the admin page, but I'm just going to, just going to call this offline admin and this page will not be included in the menu I'm just gonna click on add page so the page is added and I'm going to add this module maintenance mode to this page it's already installed I'm just gonna go to modules category all categories and under the drop down module I'm gonna select see DNN plus maintenance maintenance and I'm not gonna put a title I'm just gonna add to the page here's the module there's no fancy interface but if you move the mouse over manage and if you go to maintenance page you're gonna be able to play around with a with a set that it has available First of all, is that you can have it activated or deactivated by default. Well, I'm not sure why this not show, but by default, this is not active. So I'm just going to select activated by now. I can select one of the styles that we can apply. And we have the option of choosing our own style. Now, we cannot build that by ourselves. Actually, they offer here what they call enterprise plus custom maintenance page where they design that for you for a little bit more money. Now, you don't need to do that, but if you want, it's available. Or you can choose one of the styles that they have uh, pre-established here. Let's just try one of those. I'm going to grab this one here. So it's active. I have one style. Uh, this checkbox, I have tried this and it doesn't really work, but Basically, it's asking if you want to add an admin link or not. And why would you want that? Because you need to log into the site as an admin. I mean, you need to be able to log in. Uh, but again, regardless of which option, uh, if, this, if this is selected or not, it's always showing. So I'm not going to care about this. And you can load some pre-established pre content here, some pre-established pre pre-established messages and you can change them I'm just gonna keep them as is I'm gonna update now I'm logged in as super user or as me I can see this it says maintenance mode activated if I try the site now on a different browser where I'm not logged in here's what will happen I'm just gonna refresh here this is the same URL the site is running from my local system just going to refresh. Now, this is what I see. Service temporarily unavailable because this is the default message there. I can change any of that. And the only thing that I could not see is how you can get rid of this admin login, but it can be quite handy 
if you if you want to be able to log into the site as, as if you click you're going to be redirected to the login page but again any other menu everything if you're not logged in nothing will be available here now once you log in then you can manage the site as you do normally so because i'm logging to the back end now regardless if the module is activated or not i can go around and I can do the, any change that I need. Now, if I log out again, now I have the maintenance uh, message here. So just to see that the, those messages can really be changed, I just go back there as super user, enter into the edit maintenance page, and I'm going to change this, please try back in one day. To be offline for a while. Service temporarily not available. Site temporarily unavailable. So we can save this. And if I try again, I should see some changes here. Site temporarily unavailable. One day here. So again, just a little module. Uh, very simple, very straightforward. Whenever you want to do a, a maintenance. Uh, to the website, to add content or change anything else, and you don't want people looking around, sneaking around, you may just want to add this module and have people seen a message that the site will be back soon. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.